Hi there, I'm Alex, and I'm a data scientist in a biotech startup. We build machine learning models to classify cancer cells in images. And this is a story about how a small oversight can cause great pain and suffering, even when you're sure you do everything right. In our team, we develop new models every week. Of course, before deployment, we need to do testing to make sure everything works well. We use continuous integration to automate this process, thanks to some advice from our software team. Here's the workflow. We first have the development stage, where we implement new model architectures. Then we move on to the build stage, where the model is trained and high parameters are tuned. Finally, we have the test stage. Here, we measure the model's accuracy using a test dataset. We keep it isolated on a separate server, so we never get to see it. Then, we compare this new accuracy with the model that was previously deployed. If the new accuracy is higher than the old one, then we say the test was passed and we can deploy the model to production. This worked great for us and was running smoothly for months. So, when I heard that the customers were complaining about the accuracy of our models, I was really shocked. Our test system was supposed to prevent that. We know the test accuracy was supposed to get better, but on real data, it actually got worse. After many hours trying to figure it out, it finally hit me. I'm overfitting the test set. It all made sense now. You see, we kept the test set hidden thinking that it will be safe from overfitting. However, each time the system tells us a test result, it actually leaks a little bit of information to us. Of course, in the short term, this is not too dangerous. But in the long term, we're basically releasing only the models that did well in our isolated test environment. And over time, we started to slowly detach from reality, you might say. We were struggling with this for weeks, but then we found a solution. We dug up this nice paper from KDD 2020 that solves this exact same problem. There were two main things we learned. First, they showed that for machine learning, the test results are always a little bit random. And the more confident you want to be in your test results, the more test data you need. Second, they showed that the test data set can last forever. It actually expires if you use it too many times. They provide the need system to manage our test data. Given our desired confidence level, it computes how many times we can run a test using our current data set before we need to swap it out with a new one. It actually does all the work for us and it's super easy to integrate in our existing CI workflow. Finally, we could sleep peacefully. Thanks to strong theoretical guarantees, we could be fully confident in the models we put out. The boss was happy, the customers were happy, and we were happy. Hi there, I'm actually not Alex, I'm Boyan, a PhD student from ETH Zurich. Uh, this project was part of my 2019 internship at uh, Microsoft at GSL Lab. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to all our awesome collaborators, to my advisor, uh, Matteo, my mentor at Microsoft, uh, as well as Cedric, Marcus and Wentau, and our collaborators from the Microsoft Cloud AI platform team. If you're interested in this topic, please check out our paper. Thanks for watching.